next is about d block elements okay so next is about d block elements i completed with the s block and p blocks next now consider the d block elements these are the elements of group 3 to 12 in the center of the periodic table these are characterized by the filling of inner d orbitals by electrons and are therefore referred to as d block elements okay so from 3 to 12 group okay they will come in the middle of the periodic table center periodic table from 3 to 12 group they will come okay so these elements have a general outer electronic configuration general electronic configuration is you know the general electronic configuration of uh, this uh, d block elements so uh, that is n minus 1 d power 1 okay uh, 1 to 10 this is uh, this can occupy maximum of 10 electrons that is n is 0 to so this is the general electronic configuration of d block elements so then i will this is the d block these are the d block elements okay so consider from 3 to 12 i give an example so there is a 3d okay 4d and 6d so from this to this the, the d block elements will come and next is about the some of the characteristics of d block elements i will explain you now the they are all metals they are all metals okay and they mostly form colored ions they mostly form colored ions okay and exhibit variable valence oxidization status so param paramagnetism and often used as a catalyst exhibits various variable valence paramagnetism exhibits variable valence paramagnetism and uh, paramagnetism and uh, oftenly used as catalyst okay so first i want to explain what do you mean by paramagnetism and what do you mean by catalyst okay the paramagnetism is a form of magnetism where certain material are materials are attracted by an externally applied magnetic field and the form of internal okay and they form a included magnetic fields in the direction of the applied magnetic field they form internal induced magnetic field so that is called paramagnetism i will again tell you the definition of paramagnetism it is a form of magnetism where certain materials are attracted by an externally applied magnetic field means some of the materials are there okay certain materials they will be attracted by externally applied what magnetic field in the form uh, they will form intern internal induced magnetic field in the direction of applied magnetic field so that in the material only they will form the mag induced magnetic field so this is about paramagnetism and what do you mean by catalyst so it is a substance okay that speeds up the chemical reaction but it is not consumed by the reaction okay which is uh, which speeds up the chemical reaction catalyst means which speeds up the speeds up the chemical reaction so hence a catalyst can be uh, recovered chemical uh, they, are, they are recovered chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction it has been used to speed up okay used to speed up the reaction that is the use of the that is the use of the catalyst next however zinc cadmium and hg which have electronic configuration um, see i will write here zinc cadmium okay so these having the electronic configuration of n minus 1 okay 
डी पावर टेन एन एस स्क्वायर डोंट शो मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ट्रांसिशन एलिमेंट्स इन अ वे ट्रांसिशन मेटल्स फॉर्म ए ब्रिज बिटवीन द केमिकल एक्टिव मेटल्स ऑफ एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स एंड लेस एक्टिव एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ग्रुप्स थर्टीन एंड फोर्टीन एंड डज टेक देयर नेम ट्रांसिशन एलिमेंट्स ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द डी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स ओके नेक्स्ट आई विल मूव ऑन टू एफ ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स okay so in the f block elements the two rows of elements at the bottom of the periodic table called the uh, f block elements see here this is the f block elements lanthanoids and the actinoids so the two rows whatever they will come these are called f block elements okay so the lanthanoids the selenium it is called z is equal to 58 atomic number and uh, this is the lanthanoids then the z is equal to 71 okay so when the z is equal to 90 then us so are characterized by the outer electronic configuration this is the general electronic configuration of the f block elements okay so this is n minus 2 please remember this okay and d 0 2 and this is ns square okay the last electron added to each element is filled in f orbital these two series of elements are hence called inner transition elements okay so this is uh, the figure of s block element uh, f block whatever they will come they are lanthanoids and actinoids okay the characteristics of the f block elements they are metals okay next point within each series the properties of elements are quite similar the chemistry of the early actinoids is more complicated than the corresponding lanthanoids due to the large number of oxidation state possible for these actinoid elements actinoid elements are radioactive actinoid elements are radioactive elements okay many of the actinoid elements have been made only in nanogram quantities or even less by nuclear reactions and their chemistry is not fully studied the elements after the uranium are called the elements after the uranium are called trans uranium elements okay trans uranium so they will ask you what do you mean by trans uranium elements okay so please note down it what do you mean by trans uranium elements of the elements after the uranium they are called trans uranium elements see here after the uranium they are called these are called trans uranium elements okay so this is about the f block elements okay so and uh, the next one is uh, you have to solve one problem now so i will uh, write down the question here okay so this is problem third okay the elements please note down it the elements which is having the atomic number z is equal to 117 and 120 have not yet been discovered and 120 have not at been discovered okay so in which family or group would you uh, place these elements and also give the electronic configuration in each case so in which family you are then write down the electronic configuration okay so i will give you the solution here so the elements with z is equal to 117 which belongs to the halogen family that is group 17 okay that is about halogen family okay so they belongs to the halogen family okay that is about z is equal to 117 and the electronic configuration you know b 
uh, for this the electronic configuration is 5f14 okay 6d10 so you just uh, write down this uh, one s two s okay 2p like this so uh, then you will get the electronic configuration for this okay so 7s square hmm? 7p6 so this is about the electronic configuration then the z is equal to 120 okay so will be placed in group 2 which is placed in group 2 that is alkaline earth metals okay so you you can write the configuration like u o that is equal to 8 yes square the electronic configuration for this this is 1 and this is z is equal to 120 what happens so this is the elements z is equal to 117 and 120 they are belongs to which family and write down the electronic configuration if they are asking the question like this means you have to write down like this okay so this is about the problem okay so what i give i just uh, give a glance about this okay so uh, what you have learned now just now you studied about the s block elements okay so the s block elements in that alkali metals and alkaline earth metals will come and you have to write the electronic configuration for this what are the s block elements so you should note down it okay so these are the some of the properties of s block elements they are reactive metals with low ionization enthalpies they are loose outer they are loose outermost electrons to form the one plus ion or two plus ion when you are moving down from the group from uh, you are moving in the down so the metallic character and reactivity increases okay and the next one is p block elements 13 to 18 okay so the electronic configuration of the p block elements is this okay and this is these are the p block elements so the last one in each group that indicates the nobel gas very having very low chemical reactivity 17 and 16 are called the 17 is called halogens and these are called chalcogens okay next is about the d block elements uh, as i am just uh, explained you about d block elements these are the elements of groups of 3 to 12 in the center of the periodic table these are the characterized by the filling of inner d orbitals by electrons and therefore referred to as the d block elements okay and next come this is about the these are the d block elements from 3 to 12 okay next is about they were very they are all our metals and they mostly form color dance exhibit variable valence you know you got i think you understood about what do you mean by so para magnetism and what do you mean by catalyst okay write down the definition paramagnetism and catalyst next is this zinc and cadmium okay you for each case you have to write down the uh, what you have to write down the electronic configuration and some of the properties okay next come to the f block elements okay the two rows of elements at the bottom of the periodic table are called lathnoids and uh, this is actinoids the characterized by the outer configuration so this is the general electronic configuration okay so these are the f block elements okay and uh, this is these are the metals actinoid elements are radioactive the elements after the uranium they are called transuranium elements so they will ask what do you mean by transuranium next this is the problem what i have solved now just now so what i explained you about s block p block d block and f block elements so they will come under the periodic table okay in modern periodic table i okay i will show the modern periodic table now see here this is the modern periodic table okay i think you are observing you should observe each and everything okay so these are this is considered this as the hydrogen which is placed separately okay so the next one is the helium okay so where it is placed separately no one is come under the, in the in this row of helium okay from as i said from uh, that is 13 to 17 what happens so the 13 to 17 they are called uh, these are the group numbers they represent okay so this is uh, about the group 1 element so this is the s block elements these are the p block elements okay these are the see uh, these are the uh, d block elements d block means will come from 3 to 
12 these are called d block elements and they are separated by this these are called f block elements f inner transition elements okay so the in that lathnoids and actinoids will come so just you can observe here the hydrogen is placed somewhere and uh, the first hydrogen this is called alkali metal and the next is alkaline earth metals these are called this is a p block elements from 13 to 17 so from 13 to 18 are called three block p block elements in that also the s block elements also come so this is about the s block p block d block and f block elements okay